Hi, and welcome to Design Time with Floor to Ceiling Carpet One. I'm Marga, and the last time we were together, we were uh, talking about a home that we were turning into a bit of a high-end lodge kind of feel, and the last time we talked about uh, the fireplace in this home, a little bit about the ceiling lines and, uh, and the library area, we didn't get a chance to get into the kitchen last time, so today we're going to be focusing on, on the kitchen layout. Inside of this kitchen, we had, uh, this is where we had the, the white, white laminate countertops were in here, and we also had uh, backsplash back here that was all white tile with mauve accents and all sorts of things. Again, those were just, uh, though they were, they were nice at one point, they just uh, weren't working with the idea that uh, we wanted to go to that high-end lodge look. So those, again, needed to come out. So what we've done to change the feel of the space, we came in and we, again, we put some heavier things. Keep in mind that if you were with us last time, you saw that we had done some very heavy uh, heavy stonework on uh, on the fireplace in this home, also on some of the columns, and so in here we needed to we needed to to continue to balance the heaviness of the home. We needed to kind of give give the kitchen some heavier elements as well. So what we've done is we did granite countertops inside the kitchen. In this kitchen, we really didn't we did not touch the cabinetry at all. Again, um, uh, budgets things like that and and also the other thought that we had in mind is that um, at a later date in the future um, we may be adding on to this house so we kind of wanted to conserve a little bit so but we were still able to achieve the look that we wanted and and um, but I will tell you this the only thing that we did touch in the cap in the kitchen as far as cabinetry goes we have a fantastic company that we work with who does a lot of our custom cabinet work and it was amazing that I was able to go to them and say and here's exactly what I did we took a door off of one of these and when, we, when I took the door off, I said, okay, boys, I need you to match the stain. I need you to match the cut, the design of this door. And actually, the piece is right here that they actually created for us. Um, there used to be a trash compactor here. And it's amazing to me that when you walk into this kitchen, you would never know that this was the only one, one and only piece of cabinetry that was touched because it matched so beautifully and so perfectly. Um, so instead of having that, we now, um, inside of it, we have a, um, it's a pullout, it's a double garbage inside of here. Um, so that whether you really have that much garbage or if you wanna use one for garbage and one for perhaps some recycling, that's the purpose of that. Um, otherwise, from there, nothing else was touched from cabinetry. However, the white laminate countertops needed to go. So again, we did put granite in. And to give it some visual interest, we have two different types of granites in this kitchen. Um, this uh, back granite is called Tropical Brown, and it has some black flecks in it, and it has some brown flecks in it, and some lighter tans in it. It's quite nice. Um, and, and as far as granites go, granites range in price. Um, you know, if, if we were going to just really speak in generalities, typically the lighter the granite, perhaps the less expensive, it's not nearly as dense. And of course, the darker, sometimes those granites get a little bit more pricey just because they're really, really dense, really, really heavy and harder to work with. Um, but, uh, but we've done a combination in this kitchen. As far as price, this is very nicely priced. So if you're ever considering granite, fantastic granite to consider. Um, and then to contrast that, because this had some flecks of black, we came over to the island and then we, um, we did the island in black granite, um, which was just uh, a really great way of pulling the space together along, you know, again, to just tie the whole space together. What we did then was we came up into this backsplash that used to be white and mauve, and we turned it into all natural stone. Again, anytime that you're talking about rustic or, or just a lodgy kind of environment, you want to stay true to, I guess, what I call integrity of materials. Um, if, if I'm working on this kind of a project, I don't like to see any, I guess, what I would term as man-made products. Um, I really, really like to see some really natural stuff. Or if it's not natural, it needs to look as close to natural as possible. This actually is, this is actually all slate. 
slate tile up in the back and a slate, uh, this is what we call, this is just a decorative piece, a decorative listello. And as you, as you look a little closer at that, uh, inside that listello are um, black, small black triangles. And the reason that we chose that, uh, because the majority of the tile that's in that decorative piece matched the slate in the backsplash, but the black actually pulled across what was happening in the island. We had the black granite here and we pulled it across in this decorative piece and put a little punch of black in there. The other thing that you know we definitely want to concern ourselves with are the color of your appliances. Some of the appliances that we have in this kitchen were here already. So we decided, well, let's just work with those. And, and in most cases, people want to work with the appliances that they have, and that's just fine. Um, there are a few things that you, know, you might want to tweak and you might want to change a little bit. But in this case, we already had the black dishwasher. So that was great because it pulled the black out uh, in the granite. Then we also, now these pieces, um, at least the stove, is a new stove. There was there was another stove in here before, and and but it just wasn't quite quite the size that we wanted it. So we got another. It, again, it's a black appliance, just to tie the whole space together. Black microwave. Again, it is a work in progress. We will end up getting a black refrigerator. Right now, we're still white, but that's okay. Um, again, it just it just takes time to pull your whole project together. The other thing that we did. Um, in the in the granite was we put an undermount sink in, and the undermount sink is a darker color. Uh, it's not quite black, but very very close to the naked eye. It would probably be black, but it's it's got a granite finish in it, and great for cleaning up. Um, it just is it, it's been it's been great, and it matched the granite that we put on. And then we also wanted to complement contrast a little bit, so then we chose, uh, this is an oil rubbed bronze faucet and handles. Again, it just really pulled the whole space together. This is, and I'll reiterate over and over that this is still a work in progress. If you'll notice right now, the floors in here are ceramic tile and they're a lighter color. In the original home, that worked. But with what we're doing now, it's not quite working for us. So what we're going to end up doing, all of this tile will come out, and we're going to be putting a, a walnut floor in here. It's a wood floor, um, a walnut color. And walnut is this very rich, warm color. And, and the color that we've chosen actually had striations of the colors that were in, uh, that are in our ceiling lined, our beam ceilings. And they also, uh, if you'll notice, underneath Underneath this countertop, we have corbels, uh, and these corbels are a little bit darker color, and those will pick up again in the wood. The the corbel has to, you know, in some cases when you're putting granite down, you don't have to have a corbel in there because it doesn't overhang that much. Typically, rule of thumb is if it's going to overhang more than 10 inches, you have to have a corbel because of the weight of the granite. It does need to have some kind of support. Um, there's lots of different ways to support it. In this case, we wanted to get a decorative corbel, and what we did here, we contrasted, uh, we contrasted that uh, the color of the corbel with the with the color of the. Um, of the cabinetry because the color of this actually matched, if you were with us last week, the color of some of the floating shelves that we had in the library that we talked about then. Um, so, so that's still going to happen in here. Uh, there are some other elements in the kitchen that we still need to work on. Uh, we have some lighting right, right up above in, I guess, what I would term our soffit area. And it's very, very bright. It's white plexiglass. We're going to be changing that. And we'll be changing that to stained glass. And we'll put a design in there that actually looks a little more like a Frank Lloyd Wright design. And if you're not familiar with him, he has some fantastic designs and things like that. Uh, very linear, very geometric. But, but still, uh, with the colors we'll be using, they'll certainly fit right into this design. Uh, very well, and it will also mute that light down a little bit and give us a little punch of color that we're looking for in here. Thank you for joining me today with Design Time by Florida Ceiling Carpet One, and we hope to see you again next time.